day and good evening whenever you're watching this video. This is an After Effects tutorial on how to make shape explosions. Now I'll be walking you through on creating a shape explosion and uh, showing you a couple of neat tricks that you can use them to spice up your animation. So if you haven't opened up After Effects already, then go ahead and open it up and create a new composition. After you've created your composition, take your tool here, shape tool, and just you can choose whichever tool, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to, for the sake of this tutorial, go with the ellipse tool. And I'm going to create a circle, like so. Now that I have my circle, the next thing that I'm going to need is a mask. To get a mask, I'm going to press Shift Command N, and then I'm going to go down to the ellipse. No, wait a minute. The masks tab, and uh, change the shape of the mask so it fits the fits the circle. So from here. On the mask shape tab, you're going to press reset to ellipse. So now you can see that the mask has ellipsed around itself, around the circle. So everything that happens, happens inside the circle. All right, now for the shape explosions. Now you see in the mask tab, there's this option called mask expansion. And when you drag it downwards, you can see that it both expands and shrinks. Now you're wondering, well, why wouldn't I just use uh, scaling for the circle to get the same effect? Well, because this is not all of it. This is just the beginning of the whole shape explosion thingy. So to get the whole explosion itself, we're going to go a bit further up on the timeline, put in a keyframe, Go back and then set the circle so it becomes invisible, like so. The next thing that we're going to do is we click Command D to duplicate the mask. And instead of having it in the same values, we're going to add uh, a subtract to this one. Press U to get all the keyframes in the shape layer and then we're going to offset the keyframes with the first ones just by a little bit and now we're going to have a ring like so now if you want to add some more coolness and variation to the circle you can just go ahead and choose both of the masks duplicate both of them and then just offset them once again. So you choose the two other masks that you just duplicated and offset them with the first ones just by a little. And then when we go down the timeline, you can see that the second circle comes in. And then you can just play around with it depending on how you want it to look. So, as said, this works with all of the shapes. You can just use them however you want to. It's uh, very easy to just have a bunch of the circles going along exploding. So if you want another circle in a different size, just duplicate the shape layer. Let's move that one to the side a bit. Shrink it. Let's make another one. Put it over here. And now when we play it, we have a couple exploding circles. Now, if you want to spice it up a little bit, instead of having the shapes in the same colors, I'm just going to go here and change the colors up a bit. Let's go with something real soft. We've got that one and that. We're going to change this one like so. And then the last one, we're going to give this a nice popping green okay now choose all your layers pre-compose them we'll call this explosions 
and then go to the effects panel and type in Colorama and pop that in there. Now what Colorama does is it changes the color and what you can do here with the blend with original that if you palm it up all the way to 100 it just retains the same color but you can play around with this a bit it gets a bit more YB when you have a bunch of different colors but we're gonna set this one to about 7 percent then we're gonna duplicate this one put it down no we're gonna have that as uh, with the original colors we're gonna offset that with a little bit then you're gonna duplicate the comp with the effect and we're gonna put that one down to 30% and then we're going to offset that as well so now we have this very cool colorful bunch of explosions that you can vary a lot depending on the colors you choose the shapes that you choose uh, the spacing between the circles just do it according to your own preferences. So that was it for this short tutorial. I hope you liked it and peace out.